Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy JP Productions and I'm back with another banger for you guys. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you are new, and share the channel so we can continue to keep growing the channel. For today's video, we're going to be covering all the tips and tricks for you to improve your finishing around the rim. I already have a few videos on different finishes and some more finishing hacks. Be sure to peep my finishing playlist, man. Now when it comes to finishing, there's a whole bunch of keys and finishes, but one major thing that can help a lot, especially for smaller players, is having the muscle. Having muscle is important for all players, not just for finishing, but for driving as well. Because if you're a hooper who's trying to finish against a bigger and taller defender, you must initiate contact to knock him out of place. But if you're not that physically strong, then instead of you trying to bump your defender, he'll most likely have you off balance due to him being more stronger than you. Now I'm not an expert when it comes to the weight room side of things, so if you're looking at improving your strength, please feel free to look it up and get your questions answered. But in the meantime, remember this. The more strength you have, the more space and less off balance you will become as you initiate contact with your defender. Before I get into how you should initiate contact, let me explain to you why it's best to have a variety of finishes. In the game of hoops, there are many finishes that you can improve on and add to your game. Finishes from the inside hand layup, the hook layup, the off foot layup, the miking, and so much more. You gotta be creative. The more finishes you have, the better. Now when I say this, I don't mean to say find every finishing move in the book, then work on it. Just know in the game of hoops, you'll tend to find out that there's moments for certain moves and then you'll have moments where you'll have to read and react. You can't always use your inside hand when finishing. Also, 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 keep in mind whenever you're finishing, be sure to finish high on the glass so you will avoid your shot from getting pinned. Going along with having a variety of finishes, you have the choice to jump off either foot, both feet, or just one. The advantages for jumping off of both feet give you more control, more stability in the air, better change of direction in mid-air, and also it allows you to absorb more contact in the air. By jumping off of one foot, you of course have the ability to change directions, but it won't be as great as jumping off of two. But you allow yourself to have a quick takeoff from off the ground. As an athlete, you may like one versus the other, but it's great to be able to know how to do both just in case you have that particular moment in the game. So if you are a dunker or a person who's only limited to layups at the moment, remember, to go hard or go home. Now let's get into how you should initiate contact with the defender. So let's say you make a move on the defender. Bam, bam, bam. And the big man is waiting. From that point, you have different options depending on how the floor is looking. But let's say you're in a situation where you have to draw contact. The main thing to do is to initiate contact first. That is very, very important, guys. You must initiate contact first. You're the ball handler. You're the one who's trying to get buckets, so you need to be the one to make that contact early to knock them off balance, which will equal you a better chance to finish over them because by you jumping and bumping into them, they have no chance to jump high and explosively to block your shot.
That's going to cap off today's breakdown on how to finish around the rim. Feel free to like this video, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe, and share the channel so we can continue to pass this knowledge off to players around the globe, man. It's your boy JP Productions, man. I hope you guys have a great day. Till next time.